So what is realistic and what's unrealistic? And they're driving me crazy because they have different definitions for so many different people in this room and in this world. And yet people use them with such authority. That's not realistic. That's unrealistic. And at some point in early babyhood, the idea of self starts to form. Our little portion of oneness is given a name, is told all kinds of things about itself. And these details, opinions, and ideas become facts. But the self is a projection based on other people's projections. Is it who we really are or who we really want to be? And the lives of our children are merely a reflection of adult values learned by observation, imitation, and repetition. And everything your children will ever be is who they watch, what they look at, what they read, what they hear, and who they emulate. Most people are governed by their habits, their fears, and the opinions of others. A lot of people never try anything differently because they have been convinced by people in their lives that they value that they can't do it. They're living within the context of the opinions that other people have of them. Many people doubt themselves because when they thought about doing something at some critical point in their lives, someone they trusted said, you can't do that. And they accepted that. See, the way in which we operate, ladies and gentlemen, it's a manifestation of what we believe, what's possible for us. Whatever you've done up to this point, all that it really is, is a duplication, it's a reproduction of what you believe subconsciously that you deserve and what's possible for your life. There's two reasons why people don't do things. One is because they tell themselves they can't do them, or the other is people around them tell them they can't do them. Either way, we start to believe it, and either we give up or we never start in the first place. The most of society thinks biography is destiny. The past equals the future. And of course it does if you live there. Around the world, we're starting to believe that circumstances control who we are. Don't get me wrong, circumstances play a huge impact. Events play a huge impact on your life, but they're not the ultimate determining factor. Anything that we think we can and cannot do, what we think is or is not realistic, is just based on a concept that we have in our mind. You shouldn't do that. Yes, I recognize I've never done it myself. <laughs> Yet I know that it's unrealistic that you should not do that. And I see this everywhere I go and it bothers me. It bothers me because people are listening. Two little guys were out playing on some ice. And one of the little boys stepped on a thin area of the ice and fell in a hole. He said his friend was there and he panicked and he, he looked just a short distance away and there was a tree and he went and he ripped a branch off and he came back trying to get his buddy out and he just took the best he could and when he did he started beating on it and beating on it and there all of a sudden the ice began to crumble and he was able to pull his friend out to safety. When the paramedics finally got there they saw what had happened, how thick the ice was. He saved the little boy's life, but what baffled him, they looked at the branch, and they looked at this little scrawny guy and said, how did he do this? It's just impossible. And an old man standing around stepped forward and said, I can tell you how he did it. He didn't have anybody here to tell him he couldn't. That you can't have your dream. Who can guarantee that you can't do what you want to do? No one can do that. No one can predict that. You can do that. You don't know what the possibilities are for your life. All we need to do is we look at our dreams as we get ready to hit the floor. I'm, I'm blessed and highly favored, and it's possible I can get my dream. You go after that dream too. Don't allow that inner doubt in you to talk you out of it to build a case on why you can't have it, to tell you why you're not good enough. You ignore that inner voice and all of the external voices. Don't judge the possibilities for what you can do based upon the circumstances. 
Don't determine what's possible for you based upon where your life is right now. Where your life is right now is not you, but the possibilities for you are unlimited. That's all I'm asking you, believe that it's possible. That you, you can make it. Emotion is it. If we get the right emotion, we can get ourselves to do anything. We can get through it. If you're creative enough, playful enough, fun enough, can you get through to anybody, yes or no? If you don't have the money, but you're creative or determined enough, you find the way. So with the right emotion, you can unleash things you could never dream of. You've got genius in you. Challenge yourself, push yourself, make yourself, come up with something. Use your imagination. And what you will find is that you know more than you realize that you know. The defining factor is never resources, it's resourcefulness. And as you begin to discover the truth of who you are, whatever challenge that you're facing in life, and if you're living, you're facing some challenge, you'll begin to know that you're powerful and that you're a miracle maker. It's all I want you to do when you look at your dream. You say to yourself every day, it's possible. You say that every day to yourself, it's possible. All the places you'll go. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own. You know what you know. And you are the guy who will decide where to go. You look up and down the streets. You come over with care. Without someone will say, I don't choose to go there. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some of the bills are numbered, but mostly they are done. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you are too smart to go down. Not so much. You are off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your